Politics of Guyana The politics of Guyana takes place in a framework of a presidential representative democratic republic, whereby the president of Guyana is the head of government and of a multi-party system. Executive power is exercised by the president, advised by a cabinet. Legislative power is vested in both the president and the National Assembly of Guyana. The judiciary is independent of the executive and the legislature. Executive authority is exercised by the president, who appoints and supervises the prime minister and other ministers. The president is not directly elected. Each party presenting a slate of candidates for the assembly must designate in advance a leader who will become president if that party receives the largest number of votes. The president has the authority to dissolve the parliament, but in contrast to a parliamentary regime, the constitution of Guyana does not provide any mechanism for parliament to replace the president during his or her term of office except in case of mental incapacity or gross constitutional violations. This makes Guyana an assembly-independent regime, much like Switzerland. Only the prime minister is required to be a member of the assembly. In practice, most other ministers also are members. Those who are not serve as non-elected members, which permits them to debate but not to vote. The president is not a member of the National Assembly but may address it at any time or have his address read by any member he may designate a convenient time for the assembly. Under Guyana's constitution the president is both the head of state and head of government of the Cooperative Republic of Guyana. Legislative power of Guyana rests in a unicameral National Assembly. In 2001 the makeup of the National Assembly was reformed. Now 25 members are elected by a proportional representation from 10 geographic constituencies. Additionally 40 members are chosen also on the basis of proportional representation from national lists named by the political parties. The president may dissolve the assembly and call new elections at any time, but no later than five years from its first sitting. The highest judicial body is the Court of Appeal, headed by a chancellor of the judiciary. The second level is the High Court, presided over by a chief justice. The chancellor and the chief justice are appointed by the president. The Audit Office of Guyana, AOG is the country's supreme audit institution, SAI. For administrative purposes, Guyana is divided into 10 regions, each headed by a chairman who presides over a regional democratic council. Local communities are administered by village or city councils. The regions are Barimawini, Kuyuni Mazaruni, Demerara Mahaika, East Burbis Quarantine, Essequibo Islands West Demerara, Mahaika Burbis, Pomeroon Supinam, Patero Sipiruni. Upper Demerara Berbis and Upper Takutu Upper Esequibo. Race and ideology have been the dominant political influences in Guyana. Since the split of the multiracial PPP in 1955, politics has been based more on ethnicity than on ideology. From 1964 to 1992, the PNC dominated Guyana's politics. The overwhelming majority of Guyanese of East Indian extraction traditionally have backed the People's Progressive Party headed by the Jagans. Rice farmers and sugar workers in the rural areas form the bulk of PPP's support, but Indo-Guyanese who dominate the country's urban business community also have provided important support. Following independence, and with the help of substantial foreign aid, social benefits were provided to a broader section of the population, specifically in health, education, housing, road and bridge building, agriculture, and rural development. However, during Forbes Burnham's last years, the government's attempts to build a socialist society caused a massive emigration of skilled workers, and, along with other economic factors, led to a significant decline in the overall quality of life in Guyana. After Burnham's death in 1985, President Hoyta took steps to stem the economic decline, including strengthening financial controls over the parastatal corporations and supporting the private sector. In August 1987, at a PNC Congress, Hoyta announced that the PNC rejected orthodox communism in the one-party state. As the elections scheduled for 1990 approached, Hoyta, under increasing pressure from inside and outside Guyana, gradually opened the political system. After a visit to Guyana by former U.S. President Jimmy Carter in 1990, Hoyta made changes in the electoral rules, appointed a new chairman of the Elections Commission, and endorsed putting together new voters' lists thus delaying the election. The elections, which finally took place in 1992, were witnessed by 100 international observers, including a group headed by Carter and another from the Commonwealth of Nations. Both groups issued reports saying that the elections had been free and fair, despite violent attacks on the Elections Commission building on Election Day and other irregularities. 
Nights, Chetty Jagan served as Premier, 1957-1964, and then Minority Leader in Parliament until his election as President in 1992. One of the Caribbean's most charismatic and famous leaders, Jagan was the founder of the PPP which led Guyana's struggle for independence. Over the years, he moderated his Marxist-Leninist ideology. After his election as President, Jagan demonstrated a commitment to democracy, followed a pro-Western foreign policy, adopted free market policies, and pursued sustainable development for Guyana's environment. Nonetheless, he continued to press for debt relief and a new global human order in which developed countries would increase assistance to less developed nations. Jagan died on March 6, 1997, and was succeeded by Sam Hines, whom he had appointed Prime Minister. President Hines then appointed Janet Jagan, widow of the late president, to serve as Prime Minister. In national elections on December 15, 1997, Janet Jagan was elected president, and her PPP party won a 55% majority of seats in parliament. She was sworn in on 19 December. Jagan was a founding member of the PPP and was very active in party politics. She was Guyana's first female prime minister on vice president, two roles she performed concurrently before being elected to the presidency. She was also unique in being white, Jewish, and a naturalized citizen born in the United States. The PNC, which won just under 40% of the vote, disputed the results of the 1997 elections, alleging electoral fraud. Public demonstrations and some violence followed, until a CARICOM team came to Georgetown to broker an accord between the two parties, calling for an international audit of the election results, a redrafting of the Constitution, and elections under the Constitution within three years. Elections took place on March 19, 2001. Over 150 international observers representing six international missions witnessed the polling. The observers pronounced the elections fair and open, although marred by some administrative problems. The Economist Intelligence Unit rated Guyana as flawed democracy in 2016. All of the area west of the Essequibo River is claimed by Venezuela, preventing any discussion of a maritime boundary. Guyana has expressed its intention to join Barbados in asserting claims before Unclove that Trinidad and Tobago's maritime boundary with Venezuela extends into their waters. Suriname claims a triangle of land between the new and Kutari slash Kowetari rivers in a historic dispute over the headwaters of the Quarantine, the long standing dispute with Suriname over the axis of the territorial sea boundary and potentially oil rich waters has been resolved by Unclove, with Guyana awarded 93% of the disputed territory. Guyana is a full and participating founder member of the Caribbean community, CARICOM, the headquarters of which is located in Georgetown. The CARICOM Single Market and Economy, CSME, will, by necessity, bring Caribbean wide legislation into force in a Caribbean Court of Justice, CCJ. International affiliations include ACP, C, CARICOM, CCC, CDB, ICLAC, FEL, G77, IAMP, IBRD, ICAO, ICRM, IDA, IFAD, IFC, IFRIX, ELO, IMF, EMO, Intelsat, Non-Signatory User, Interpol, IOC, IAM, ISO, Subscriber, E2, ITUC, LIS, NAM, OISH, OPENAL, OPCW, PCA, UN, UNASUR, UNCTAD, UNESCO, UNIDO, APU, WFTU, WHO, WIPO, WMO, Intro. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.